Before installing the new shaft O-rings, first turn the shafts and feel for burrs on the shaft shoulder that might damage the O-rings. Lubricate the new shaft O-rings and install them, taking care not to cut them while passing over the shaft shoulder. Check for dirt and debris on the seal faces. Install the seal seats, being sure to line up the drive flats on the rear faces with the drive flats on the shafts. Lubricate the inner seal O-rings and install them on each seal. Assemble the wave spring onto each seal and install them into the pump body, aligning three of the notches in the inner seal with the three drive pins in the body. The double mechanical seal consists of the single mechanical seal components with three additional components, an O-ring, an outer seal, and wave spring. For each seal, apply lubricant to the new O-ring for the outer seal and install it on the seal. Insert the wave spring and then seal assembly into the body, engaging three of the notches with the three pins. It's very important that all seal faces remain free of any dirt or debris. Then, lubricate the seal faces. To attach the fluid head body to the gear case of the pump, locate and identify the two dowels on the inside of the body and match them up with the appropriate dowel holes on the gear case. The dowels are different in size, so you won't fasten the body upside down by mistake. Carefully place the body over the shafts and studs, being careful not to nick seal components or knock them out of place. Press the body against the housing, engaging the dowels. You don't have to force the body snug by hand and risk seal damage. Simply use the two body retaining cap screws and secure the body to the gear case. Install new rotor hub O-rings onto the grooves in the rotors. Lubricate all O-rings with a lubrication compound that is compatible with O-ring material and process fluids. Apply a food-grade anti-seize compound to the shafts and body studs. Lubricate and install new rotor nut O-rings onto each rotor nut. Lubricating the new O-rings makes sure they won't pucker when the nuts are tightened. Install Belleville washers in each rotor nut with the cone of the washer pointing towards the nut. Place retainer O-ring onto rotor nuts to retain washers. When you shake the rotor nut, you should hear the washer rattle. The proper orientation of the washer is critical to maintaining the torque value of the retaining nut. Assemble a rotor onto a shaft and align the shaft key and rotor keyway. Install a rotor nut assembly onto the shaft, clockwise. Use a nylon or hardwood dowel to lock the rotor in place so you can torque the nut. Always use a torque wrench. Rotor nuts that are not tightened to the proper torque could loosen during operation and severely damage the pump. Check the operation, maintenance, and parts list manual for proper torque values. They're on table two. Using a rotor nut on this shaft and using the wrench, rotate the shaft until the rotor wings are in a vertical position. Install the second rotor and key. Install the other rotor nut assembly onto the shaft. Block the rotor with a dowel and torque it to spec. The rotor wings must be below the body face and can be felt with the fingers or thumb. You can also use a dial indicator or a straight edge and shims to compare front face clearances with table values. Install a new O-ring in the cover groove. It usually helps to stretch the O-ring if it doesn't fit freely into the groove. On the other hand, with PTFE encapsulated O-rings used in CalRes fitted pumps, such as the Universal 2 paint pump, you have to take care not to overstretch them. When you remove a used PTFE encapsulated O-ring, 
take care not to use the standard O-ring removing tool. Just use air pressure to dislodge it. Replace it with a new PTFE encapsulated O-ring if necessary. Mount the cover on the studs and push it against the body, making sure the O-ring remains in the groove. As on the body, check the dowel pin hole size on the cover and match it with the appropriate dowel pin on the body. That's right, you can install a cover upside down by mistake too. Install the cover nuts on the studs and tighten with your wrench. Optional wing nuts can be tapped with a soft hammer. You can also use an Allen wrench to tighten the wing nuts. Waukesha Cherry Burl offers versatile options with the Universal 2 Fluid Head Assembly. These include vented covers for pressure relief and jacketed covers to maintain product temperatures. CIP options, including flat body profile for free draining capability and specially drilled CIP rotors and body. Flush taps for double mechanical seals and stainless steel gear cases.